Defense has been ugly. This is one of the best offensive teams in the country. So at some point, you figure they'll get it going. McDermott double team down low. That'll double team backs away, makes his move up and under, scores. Someplace. Gibbs right down the lane. And off the bench, Devin Brooks hits his first shot to tie the game. Over the top, Chapman shoots a three. Good. I love his hustle at the defensive end of the floor. He's always right now. And the All-American McDermott and his teammates, they're struggling. Gibbs gets McDermott a touch and he scores. And that's just, that's just great work. He did it early. He positioned himself in the middle of the Donald was open. Missed the three. McDermott had the ball go right through his hands, but did scramble after it to pick up the loose ball. And a got to Artino with the left hand. Nice move. Beautiful pass. Nice cut and good finish by Artino. The first half. Armwood cut off on the baseline. That was good McDermott defense. You guys would like to run, get some easy baskets. I think that counts. Yeah, it definitely does count. Footer off the glass. They made that move against Jeffrey Grozel, a big sophomore seven-footer for Crane, who does not play big minutes. But is in the game right now. Grozel wide open, dunks it home. Poor communication on the back line. Of the turnaround, tough shot, much better defense. And can the Blue Jays get a bucket in transition? Raggi trailing three. And with it, it caroms over to the Colonials. But now, Managa there for the steal and the breakaway. Layup is good. How many times did we see that in the first half? Well, few and far between. It does seem like Creighton's emphasizing getting up the floor as quickly as possible. Nice move for Austin Chapman. Armwood lost complete control over that ball. And McDermott, good position underneath, and they just didn't get it to him. Rocky will shoot from anywhere, and he hits a long three. Open floor. Explode out and get to the rim. Terrible pass from a guy who doesn't usually make those kind of passes. Gibbs, though, responds with a three. Keeping your opponent off balance, changing up your defenses. I think too often coaches settle into one particular defense, but you might want to go back in that zone. But Rocky just well, a chance for a couple points by the wayside. Foul differential huge in this half. There's Gibbs and he dunks it home. No help side rotation whatsoever. Gibbs gets up. Wow. They've tied it up and they've done it with some authority. Double on ball screen. Gibbs, I think he's looking for the pass, and then he sees the lane, and he gets up and finishes. We're tied at 42. Creighton still has not led in this game. Rocky, now they lead. They will not need to check the monitor to see if that was a two or a three. That's a no-doubter. From the outside, Ethan Rocky can stretch it and knock it down. The first lead of the game for Creighton comes with six minutes. You had said Armwood would outscore McDermott. That wouldn't be good for Creighton. That's what's happened. McDermott rejected again. But it's helped side secondary defensive players coming in and making a difference. But Rocky's making the difference for Creighton. He has been the guy. Another three puts Creighton off Gibbs. Thought about the three, passed up the three. Chapman right down the lane. And that was opened up, he waving his hand. Trying to get his teammates' attention. He wants the ball in his hands. Gibbs his second dunk of the game. Evidently, help side defense is optional on Gibbs. Gibbs going to receive the screen up top by Rocky. Where's the help side defense? Anybody stepping over? Anybody with a sense of urgency to get in front of the ball? That's fine if you don't want to leave Doug McDermott. But you're going to have to leave somebody. Otherwise, you're just going to get the ball in his hands. Let Rocky and him come after it. Rocky three. Not this time, but Mana got great offensive rebound. Just outworked him on the weak side.